if my baby comes at 40 weeks, I have 11 weeks till I have a baby boy. And that is really bizarre. And I don't know how to wrap my head around it, but that's where we're at. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Cheyenne. I'm 21 years old and I'm currently pregnant with my first baby. Every week I upload videos talking about pregnancy, lifestyle, moving to New York, all of those great things. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and let's hop right in. I didn't upload last Friday just since it was Christmas, so I hope everybody had a good, safe, happy holidays. So this will be an update for 27 and 28. And I think the theme for the last two weeks has been Cheyenne and horrible crippling pain. For week 27, I woke up Wednesday night with throbbing, horrible neck spasms on my left side and my left shoulder that would send shocks down my arm. I woke up sobbing, had to wake my husband up, have him give me a massage. The next day I had like a heating pad and then an ice pad, like switching those out. I got a massage for the first time. I never pay money for massages because usually like my mom is there, but since I'm in New York, my mom is not here. And so I had to pay somebody, but it did, did wonders. But that was week 27's battle. And I think honestly, until I give birth, that is probably the most painful thing I have gone through because it was pretty much just 24 hours of straight pain and agony. And that just kind of sounds like what labor is, but much, much worse. So I don't know, maybe it was a practice round. I, it sucked and I don't wish it upon anybody. And then the last week and sort of the end of the 27th week is I have really bad tailbone pain because I'm sitting a lot doing homework, doing video stuff, just live in my best life. And sometimes I have to give up and go and sit in my bed or lay down in bed because it hurts so absurdly much. But those are like the only two main things, but they both suck, like really bad. But I'll take those over vomiting. Like I will take literally almost anything over vomiting. So I call it a win. The next update is that I am lactating. And I know I talked about this in my last video, but in the last video I said, I have begun to start lactating again. It happens every now and then. I lactate every day, every day. And some days it's like for an hour and other days it's all day. And it's just a fun game of who really knows what's going to happen. And I, I don't know, but those have been the things. My back hurts and I lactate. And that's pretty much, I guess, gonna be the rest of my life because I don't think it stops after the baby comes. Now for everyone's favorite part of the video, this is what my belly is looking like. She is starting to round out. You can kind of start to tell that there is a baby there. She's looking pregnant. She's looking beautiful. We love her. There's not much to say, but we love her. She's doing her best. Now to the most exciting part of this video, the doctor updates. If you haven't been following along, me and my husband just recently moved from Arizona to New York. And as a result of that, we had to change our medical insurance. And because of COVID, it took about two and a half months from my last OB visit to Monday when I had my first one since I have been here. And I am a very anxious person. So that was a very long time with lots of days of me freaking out thinking something goes wrong with the baby and then being like there's nothing wrong with the baby because the baby's doing just fine but not ever really being sure and so we have some updates very excited about them let's go so the first one is that baby boy is doing great he is two pounds and 17 ounces as of monday and he looks just like his daddy uh, that was something I wasn't really expecting simply because in my family on like my, my side, obviously, um, the Royers, we have very strong traits. We got these big noses and really big eyebrows that we got from my dad and just kind of like our jawline and things like that. Like they're just very strong Royer traits. Most of my nieces and nephews, you look at them and you're like, that is definitely Curtis and Deanne's kid or like grandchild. And so I was just surprised to see this baby and it, it's Jesse. Like his nose is just like Jesse's nose. His chin looks quite a lot like Jesse's. I mean, obviously we won't know till he comes out, but he is so cute. 
and I wish I could have seen more of his face because he was covering his face with his hands and he was like sucking on one of his toes I think. He was just, he was really busy, you know, he didn't have time for the appointment and you know, that's fine, that's fine, he can do whatever he needs. I just want him to be happy and healthy. On my side, the most important thing is I passed my glucose test. I was a little bit worried just because for a few weeks there, I was kind of stress eating, a little bit of sadness eating, a little bit of winter Christmas eating. So I was eating a lot more carbs and sugars than I should have been. And I was genuinely worried that maybe I'd eaten too much, but we passed with flying colors. And I was very, very happy to hear about that because I really did not want to take the three hour test. That just sounded awful. That's all for the updates, but make sure before you leave to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and maybe leave a comment telling me are you one of my friends who is watching this to stalk me from Arizona or did you find me on your own? And if you did, let me know how because I've gained a few people that I don't know recently and I'd like to say hi, how are you? Thank you for watching. But to everybody, thank you so much for watching and you know, go check out my social media and I'll see you guys next week.